Argos Extractor's Mining Facility. Yes, remember, there is that gigantic master locked fence we were not able to get in the very first episode, or episode zero, I think it was. So, no, it was not episode zero, it was episode one. Hello, Lynn. Well, you're back. Uh, Lynn. Oh no! Don't start. I've had enough Barrett for one lifetime. I don't need the sequel showing up on my doorstep. More pirates showed up when you were gone. We weren't as lucky this time. Calvert, Troy, some of the new Dusties. They didn't make it. I mean, why hit the same place twice? What could they gain? Who knows with pirates? Revenge? Peeking at the scraps? Maybe they're from a different crew and we just got hit twice by sheer bad luck. I'm sorry, Lynn. I didn't know. Well, how could you have? You weren't here. Anyway, I was pinned down behind some crates with Barrett. Bullets and laser fire everywhere. No smile on that damn carefree face of his. Like he knew this was it. I started stealing myself to go out fighting. Then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Stay here, Lin. I got you. That doesn't sound good. I do not know Barrett as well as some, but he seems quite confident in his abilities. And not without cause. Next thing I know, two of the pirates are dead, and he's got the third one? in a headlock, drags him out into the open at gunpoint, and demands to talk, or else I'm going to demonstrate Newton's third law on this guy's temporal lobe. Oh, that's my Barrett. That's when they brought out Hella. Oh, no. <sighs> Tell me what happened. I didn't overhear everything, but after the ten longest seconds of my life, Barrett put his hands up, and both of them ended up getting taken aboard the pirate ship. And that's the last I saw of either of them. I mean, a courier said Argus was packing up. Why not mention the attack? Too risky to put that in the message. Too much liability. You know how it is. Our clients need to know when the operations start and stop. We handle the rest. I mean, I am a scoundrel and scumbag. So you just stood around and did nothing? Boss of the year right here. Don't push it, Dusty. I lost people. People I knew, alright? You were only here two outings, tops. And for your information, I ran straight to the comms room when they were flying away. Tried to see if I could reach them, but the computer is fried. Even if we knew where they were. <sighs> I've lost a lot of people on this run, Dusty. I just want to pack up. Fix the comms computer? Okay. Oh, I guess we're gonna go fix the comms computer over there. But first, we're gonna go pick that lock. Here, here. Then here. And here. There we go. That took me a minute. Heller's Cutter. Disassembler, 20% damage against robots. Ooh. Heller's Cutter? Is that better than the cutter I got? No, but I mean, it does... Shoot, I might as well have it. Look, it's Heller's Cutter. Great. Here, Andrea, you can take... I had a moment to talk about what happened to you at that place. T temple? I am not sure what to call it. In all my time amongst the stars, I have never heard of such a thing. What do you think that place was? It was beautiful. I've never imagined such a place. Then it seems fitting that you were the one to discover it. 
Certainly it is too soon to speculate about who built it, but... How can we not? After what you experienced, do you have any insights? I did see a visitor center or pick up a brochure, if that's what you're asking. It was not exactly what I meant, but yes. I suppose I was hoping you might have felt something. I am sorry. After what you have been through, I should be asking about you. Are you all right? Have you felt any side effects? You think there'll be side effects? How can any of us know what will happen? This is the definition of unprecedented, is it not? I mean, besides the fantastic new power I now have, no, I'm good. Yes, I meant apart from that. I am still trying to comprehend that on its own. The artifacts, that temple, this new ability you have acquired, clearly they are all connected. This is all so much bigger than we realized. We've only gotten this far by working together. Yes, you are right. And if we continue to work together, perhaps we can start to explain some of this. Now we have even greater reason to press forward, to learn more about what is at work here. Okay, do you want to talk some more? Because it's it. You want to talk? Apparently not. Okay. Very good. There was an activity that popped up and said talk to you, so I figured, okay, let's talk. But the terror control room key will take that, absolutely. It permanently increases EM weapon damage by 5%. We'll take that, of course. All right, communications computer. Uh, the computer is unpowered. Look for a power. Look for a power source. You notice some auxiliary power banks in the next room. They appear to use standard power cells. Okay. Uh, no power cell in inventory. Okay. Fair enough. I actually found one in the other building, and I said... Let me pick that up. It looks like it could be useful later. And I then immediately went and saw my inventory, saw that it was uh, a miscellaneous item, and I go, oh, this is going to be worthless, and I dropped it. So it's in the ground in there, but, uh... Can I try fixing that computer? Go ahead. Hey, Lynn? I'm packing up, Dusty. What a mess. You all right? I'm fine, Dusty. In this line of work, you make do. Even when the worst happens. Listen, I need a power cell to repair the comms computer. Don't see what good it will do since they're already gone, but fine. Here. You need any more? Feel free to scavenge around. Alright. Uh, you got any more? Only managed to scrounge up one so far. I'm sure there's more around. Alright, fair enough. I'll take one from the robot. And I will go pick up the other power cell I dropped in here, because I thought it was going to be useless. Oh. No, apparently it's in the med bench. Fine, fair enough. A lot of the components are sealed, but you manage to pry a single loose power cell. Great. Emergency power cell, see? Okay, well, whatever. Whatever, it's done now. All right, place you, place you, and place in you. There we go. Find a clue to Barrett's location. Emergency transmission. We got into this mess. Would you be quiet? Trying to make out the grab jump calculations before we're out of range. Out of range of what? Out of range of the sensor array on Vectera. Would you keep up? Once we're outside the star system, the bandwidth goes from instant speed to effectively never. What good is sending a transmission down there? You gonna tell Lynn how royally screwed we both are? She doesn't even have a ship. Do you 
you underestimate how many of my admirers there are in the galaxy, Heller. One of them is bound to show up, looking to reunite with this handsome face. We're doomed. Capital D, doomed. Got it, okay. Whoever finds this, I'm attaching the interstellar coordinates to the metadata on the transmission. Rescue us. Repeat. Rescue us. Alright, got it. Incoming ship logs. Event 0. Constellation ship incoming. Event 1. Alert. Unidentified ship pirates incoming. Alert 2. Uh, identified ship pirates incoming. Event 3. Constellation ship incoming. Alright. Let's go save Barrett and maybe Heller. But Heller's... I don't really care. But Barrett, absolutely. Lynn's probably going to make me save Barrett, though. Or not Barrett. Pro Barrett she's probably going to make me save Heller, too. So, you actually get that computer working again? Absolutely. I found a transmission from Barrett. What? Let me see that. <laughs> Funny. Even knowing he's alive, I still never want to see him again. Heller, on the other hand... Okay. Let me send you the location data embedded in the transmission. Find them, okay? Why don't you come with me? What? Really? Uh, not really cut out for whatever it is people like you and Barrett do. But it might not be a bad time to think about a career change after... all this. If you have room in your crew for an outpost supervisor, maybe we can talk. I knew it. You care about them. You're a softie. Well, don't start buying me stuffed animals for my birthday or anything. But yes, all right. I don't like seeing my people hurt. Even Barrett and Hella. Just get after them, okay? And hey, if you ever need a little extra help, I've been thinking about a career change lately. Maybe it's time to put Argos behind me. Recruit Lynn is... Gr I don't think I have space in my ship is the unfortunate part. Seems like you've been keeping busy, Dusty. If, uh, you find yourself in need of a capable traveling companion, we should talk. My contract's up with Argos, and I could use a change of scenery. You really ready to leave Argos? After this mess? Certainly. It's just a job. Nothing to get sentimental about. You'd be okay with working for me? Sure. I don't mind taking orders from a former employee. It can't be worse than working for Barrett. <laughs> uh, what kind of things can you do for me? If you give me an outpost to run, I'll have it optimized for rapid material production in no time. I can make myself useful in other ways, too. I'm a good hand with explosives, and you'll never hear me complain about carrying a heavy pack. I'll let you know if I need you someday. All right. Stay safe, Dusty. I'll be cleaning up here a while longer if you decide you need me. As soon as I build a actual place, probably. Okay. Let's go to wherever we're needing to go to. All right, let's go on ahead and... Was that a new... By the way, no, not that one. Was that a new... Uh, was that a new quest that popped up? Power from beyond... Acquire the power on all tight. Okay. Acquire the power... Oh, okay. Apparently there's a lot of... Uh, power from beyond. Interesting. And what quest do I have active? I have the Barrett quest active, right? Yeah. Interesting. So apparently there's also a power here. Okay, great. Um, crash ship, find Barrett and Heller. Well, if we're here, we might as well get the power. Or sure. Yeah, let's get the power while we're here. Power first, and then we'll save Barrett and Heller. I'm sure they'll be fine, guys. I mean, they're only captured by the Crimson Fleet. good to keep the location of the ship in mind when suits are required.
Okay, I'm thinking probably off maybe this way. No, that's not it. Interesting. Not a whole lot. Anomaly over there. Anomaly over there. Okay. Okay, this... Okay, this way. Okay, anomaly that way. Okay, great. I wonder what this power is going to be. I really, really hope. I don't know what 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 critical power could it be. We already got anti gravity. Um, maybe like a, oh god, what's another cool power? Maybe like super speed. That could be kind of cool. Um, what else? Oh, maybe thing that made me invisible? That'd be kind of awesome. That'd be really awesome if there's like a power that made me invisible. Oh man, there's so many, there's so many cool things there could be. All right, let's go get me a new superpower, baby. As soon as I can find the door. Probably would be helpful if I turned on the quest marker because this will probably lead straight to the door. There's the door. Temple Beta. You ready? Oh man, I'm so excited. I wonder what this power is going to be. Right? There's our first one. Come on. There's us, our second one. Third. Fourth. That's our fifth. Come on, I went through it. There we go. Sixth. Oh, maybe it's a speed thing instead of a number thing. It could be it it's probably it probably is a speed thing instead of a number thing. Okay, fair enough. Okay, new power, here I come. What in the... Henry Hank Ferraro? Henry Hank Ferraro? Henry Hank Fer Is that the guy who I killed? Hold on, give me two seconds. That is the miner I killed. What the hell are you doing out here, buddy? You weren't even on this planet. Oh my god, this is a hilarious bug. Either that or my, like... The, like the worst thing I've done so far in the game is coming to haunt me like I'm like Ebenezer Scrooge is like the ghost of Christmas past or something. Oh my god, what, what the hell happened? Okay, that, that is funny. Okay, what is what's my what's my new power? Uh, gravity wave emit a gravitational force strong enough to propel almost anything or anyone. Ooh. Let's see it. Sorry. Oh, it's like a... It's a paralyzer. I'd love to see it. Okay. I still think I'm... I'm I still think I'm gonna like anti-gravity field. But no, you know, we'll keep gravity away for the time being. Because that could honestly be probably a little cool. Um, contusions. Kurt apparently had a contusion. Okay. Um, listen, buddy. I don't know why you're here. Or why you keep following me. Okay, but I killed you because you pulled a gun on me. So you just stay there forever. And hopefully I don't see you again. But I don't know. Uh, quests. Uh, let's find Barrett and Heller. Let's show Barrett my new superpower.
Oh, I'm literally, like, right on it. Okay. Hey, Heller, you okay, buddy? Oh, hey, it's you. In here, I thought you were some pirate coming back to kill me. Lucky me, right? I need to know what happened, Heller. As best you can recall, given your current state of mind. Man, I was so terrified when I got pulled on board that pirate ship. There it was all. Sorry, brother. I'll get us out of this. Trust me. Uh, so we had a plan? So we had a plan then? Mm, not what you and I would call a plan, necessarily. That doesn't explain the crash ship. Oh, I'm getting to that. He tells me we need to start pretending to fight each other. Trick the pirates into thinking they need to come in before one of us gets killed. I just remember him shouting, This kid is a killer. How am I supposed to defend myself against these hurly whites? He's gonna bite my face off. I mean, I didn't think it would work, but they came in. All of a sudden, we were wrestling with two of them. Barrett reached for one of their guns. And he... And he shot someone he shouldn't have? Bingo. Blasted the pilot right in the back. Oh. Through to the flight console. And dropped orbit like a rock off a high rise. I blacked out. And when I came to, there he was. Smiling like it was... Just another day on the job. Oh, that Barrett. The fun part, Heller. I mean, I go through all the trouble of saving your butt, and you weren't even awake to notice. Then he did the little finger gun thing. Oh, like that? He really survived the crash without a scratch? Well, no, I don't think so. Caught him holding his ribs a few times. <laughs> Favorite his left leg a bit, you know? But Barrett isn't here. I need to find him. Oh, yeah. Probably should have talked about that first. <laughs> Did I mention I'm on a lot of painkillers? So, I was real excited when a ship showed up. <laughs> then, less excited when I realized... It was a crimson fleet ship. And then, really, really less excited when Barrett said, It's okay, I got this. He mumbled something to him, and then they were all gone. They took him? Why? I was drifting in and out. But, uh, I think I heard the word ransom. I mean, that was a long way of saying pirates have Barrett. Yeah, you know, you're really the one who should be upset about all this. Me, laying here, half-conscious, real inconvenience. Got a signal from the ship before they grab-jumped. Guessing it was Barrett. Haven't really been in a good <clears throat> space to have a listen. Here you go. Hey. Uh, uh, I should come with you, right? I don't think anyone else is coming. Shouldn't we get you back to Argos? <laughs> I think Argos is probably going to write this whole thing off. <laughs> Plus, I'm 90% sure working for you would be safer. I hope. Let's get, get you on your feet first. Yeah. Just, uh... Don't ask me to operate any heavy machinery for a while. Ugh, give me a minute. I think the worst of it is... Yeah, I'll be alright. I'll be alright. Ready to wisecrack with the best of them. Let me know when you want to head out. Okay, now apparently we can also have Heller as our crew. Still think there might be a spot for me on your ship? I gotta get off this rock. Uh, not at the moment, because I have no space, but uh, are you sure you're in good enough shape to travel? Uh, don't worry about me. I'm a tough cookie. 
The painkillers are starting to work. I'll be just fine after a good nap. Do you have any skills that might come in handy on my crew? You bet. I've worked on enough remote outposts that I know a thing or two about optimizing them for material production. And if you're in the market for a mining buddy, I'm your guy. Uh, let's talk later. I don't have the space right now. Damn, I just can't catch a break. Guess I'll wait around for someone else to pick me up. Don't know when or if I'll ever be back for you, Heller. Gonna be 100% honest. Uh, listen to emergency transmission. Okay, let's listen to that emergency transmission. You've given the fleet a lot of trouble, Barrett. Hey, since when is surviving being attacked causing trouble? Isn't that just fighting back? Hey, pilot. Could you move your arm a little bit to the left? I can't make out the console. Don't move! He's trying to figure out our destination, probably transmitting this conversation right now while we're still in orbit. Well, yeah. Thought I was making that pretty obvious. Okay, okay, put the gun down. I'm done. See? My retinas are pointing away from the console and towards this lovely view of space we have out the window. Tie him up. Once we get back to the base, the fun starts. Fine. You know what, Robin? Fine. You win. I'll ask this random stranger in the depths of space if they know how to get where we're going better than I do. Oh my god. Unknown ship, you read me? Hey, thanks. You're a lifesaver. My wife and I are trying to get to Volai Alpha. I keep telling her we're on the right track, but she insists our heading's wrong. That's because we did jump past it. Robin, can you go five minutes without interrupting me? Maybe if you listen to me every once in a while, I wouldn't have to interrupt you. Listen, maybe I should give you directions to the nearest marriage counselor instead. I honestly, I have no idea. You know what? Your wife's right. You're heading the wrong way. I told you. Fine, fine. You were right. That make you happy? Shh. Uh, I'm never gonna hear the end of this. Thanks for your help. Make your way. Great. There you go. Happy to help. Okay, gotta find distortions in the scanner. Oh. I would imagine it's this ransacked research outpost where I hear gunfire. That's probably where I think we're probably going to need to go. Okay, goodbye to you. Bye to you. Okay. Who else? Oh, there's somebody way up there? Okay, well, let me go deal with you then. You dummy tried to throw a grenade while I was already in the air. You poor, poor sucker. Oh, there's a level up. You know what? At this point, um, where do we put it? I need one more point to get weapon engineering. Um, but I also want ballistics. You know, right now, one more ballistics, and then next level will be the weapon, and one more in surveying, and then we can go from there. Oh, right here. I was going to say, where is this guy? Hello! Come on. Come on, buddy. Hey, goodbye to you. Hey, well, you...
There. See ya. Anything interesting? We'll take the ammo and the digipics. But no, nothing else really. Okay. There's a turret there which we can get rid of. Great. Get rid of you. Oh no, I got no air, that's why I can't hold my breath. If you'll excuse me, I'm just gonna hide right here just for the moment to get my oxygen back up. Okay, you're... Andrea, can you please deal with these people a little bit better than you are, currently are? Bye to you. Okay, he's crawling, that's fine. Is that Andrea? I don't know who that is. Probably. Okay, we can probably go down now. Oh. Now you want to be a scumbag. Oh, I got apparently a contusion. Goodbye to you. Okay, let me get over here to Crawly McGee. Let's get out of here. Goodbye. Oh, there's no, there's one back this way. Who? And where? Come on. Hello. Goodbye. I really wish you could take cred sticks while you were in the at this this menu, but you can't. For some reason, you can take you can't o you can't open lockers and you can't take cred sticks, but you can take everything else. It's the weirdest thing. Um, I'm not the biggest fan. I don't know why. There was a design choice to do that from Bethesda, but they did. All right, let's go in. Let's go rescue Barrett. certainty to the universe at all. Once you really start getting out there, the law of physics kind of true. Thank you, Andrea, for be actually being quiet. Oh my god, your laser sight scared the shit out of me. Okay. My point still stands. You need an open mind out there. You go into the far reaches of space too tightly wound. Your brain is just gonna pop like a soda. Okay, they're friendly. I might not immediately attack. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. Let's make a save. Because if there's a dialogue option, I want to see it. If not, then I'll reload the save and we'll do the sniping position. Because that's what I'm wanting to do, but I also don't want to miss a possible... Uh, I don't want to miss a possible dialogue option. So, dialogue. Holy oh, yep. Shit. Okay. You actually found me. I do not understand. Is Barrett being held hostage or not? Well, this is turning into a regular constellation party, isn't it? I should have bought drinks. Are you friends with the pirate? Matsur the Grim here and I actually have a lot in common. Both escape artists. Been captured by Sistep myself plenty of times. See, that's what I'm talking about. Relativity. We're all just creatures of the universe trying to get away from what's after. Yes, I don't know why, but yes. Well, you didn't need to worry too much. Matsura the Grim here is actually a wonderful host. No reason captivity should be unpleasant. See, that's what I mean, Matsuri. Real considerate. I have enjoyed our time together, Barrett. But I can't just let you go with nothing to show for it. Is Constellation willing to pay ransom in exchange for this man's freedom? 
Hasn't Barrett been enough trouble? Just let him go. You want me to end all this with nothing to show for it? How many? Six? Okay. Listen, look, Barrett is more trouble than he's worth. A lot of pirates are, are already dead. He does seem to be unusually skilled in that area. You clearly get along with Barrett. You're friends. He has been more entertaining than most hostages. Barrett has some good friends, it seems. Very well. You're all free to go. It's been a real pleasure, Matsur. Really. And good luck out there with all the, you know, hurting people and taking their money. Got anything you want to say? So, back to the lodge. Do you mind if I ask some personal questions? Depends on the question, but I'll give it my best shot. Tell me about yourself, Barrett. Let's see. I've been in Constellation for a long time, as you know. I enjoy cheese, mm -hmm. my work, and long walks on unexplored planets. <laughs> what else did you want to know about? So about your artifact. I think about it a lot. There's so many possibilities. Some wonderful, some terrifying. I'm a superhero, Barrett. I'm not a fearful man, but I am just a man. And I'm keenly aware that this artifact could change my life. Or end it. What did you see when you picked it up? Well, when I picked it up, I had no idea what it was. I knew it was something spectacular, though. I saw a vision. Flashing lights, a whole shebang. What do you think the visions mean? I think it's pretty clear now there's a possible correlation between the visions and the powers. Of course, correlation isn't necessarily causation. Once is a fluke, twice is a coincidence, and so forth. But once I get back into academic mode, I'll be writing a paper that will suggest the connection is valid. Obfuscating the identities of the powered, of course, which means we all get code names. Fun, right? Where did you find your artifact? On Bendy. No, wait, it was Kazal. Phil Lynn's admonishing stare boring a hole in my back. She's not actually standing behind me, is she? Well, point is, my story's probably a lot like yours. We dug a pit, found some really wonky readings, and followed them to the artifact. I have some other personal questions, if you don't mind. Sure. Like what? Uh, that's all I wanted to talk about, Barrett. Thanks. Let me know if there's anything else. Uh... I'm in Constellation now. Did you know I'd end up joining? Honestly, I was kind of rolling the dice with you. But hey, sometimes a bet pays off. You were just laughing it up the whole time? Hey, you're underselling my harrowing escape from certain doom here. A little charm goes a long way when the knives are out. Who was that pirate anyway? Matsur the Grim? Honestly? Pretty nice guy as far as pirates go. I think I butted heads with his mentor once years back. Had the same kind of surprisingly hospitable vibe. All right. Okay. Right. All right. I guess that's it. All right. Let's uh, let's get out of here. I thought it was going to be a lot more of a bloodbath than it was going to be. I mean, it was a bloodbath outside, but not inside. Uh, what is my quest? Is it back to the lodge? I don't. I. That freaked me out there for a second. L. Uh, return to the lodge. Yes. All right. I guess we're going to return to the lodge. Or apparently, no, we're going to get the power. Because apparently there's another power. Like, literally right here. On vessel V2. So we might as well go there, because we're literally right next door. All right, so we've got a thing that causes low gravity. Because something that is like a knockback. Uh, maybe something that like freezes someone. That'd be kind of cool, like a like a like a a freeze power. I'm still thinking it'd be kind of cool if there's a power that made me invisible. I'm really think that'd be kind of cool. Um, off this direction. Temple Zeta. Okay, my bet is either a. Oh, hello. Oh my god, it's the Terramorph. It's our first Terramorph, guys. 
Oh my god. Uh, Z. Okay. Uh, I really need you to, to, to do some stuff. Because uh, this thing's terrifying. Okay, Z. Don't mind. Thank you. Oh my god, thank you. Thank god I have this power. Okay, Z. No, you need to stop. Dealt with. We're good. Alien genetic material cons can be consumed to greatly increase combat effectiveness or used in experimental crafting and research. Okay, we're definitely taking that. Uh, we'll take all of that. I guess we will to take everything. Okay. Uh, those things are bullet sponges, even level 6. Level 6 was hard, man. But that was our first Terramorph. Thank God I had a superpower that basically knocked him silly. That would have been really bad if I didn't have one. And thank God I had a better weapon. Okay, where is the entrance? Um, excuse me, why do I hear gunfire? Now, the real question is, is our friend Hank going to be here this time as well? Okay, found it. Hey, okay, let's go get me a superpower. Again, I'm hoping for either, like... The ability to freeze people or the ability to like be invisible that's my that's those are my two hopes for powers but we'll see what we get okay hello there's our next one there's our third Come on. Fourth. Fifth. Go get your sixth one. Hurry. Oh, it was above. That's why. Six. There we go. How many more? One more, maybe? There we go. What is my superpower this time? Oh my god, it's going to happen every time. Grav dash, interesting. And it's, oh my god, this is hilarious. This is like the ghost of Christmas past. This is like the worst thing I've done in the game. It's going to come back and haunt me every time I have a superpower. This is, oh my god, I love this. Okay, goodbye, Hank. See ya, buddy. I don't know why he keeps coming. That's hilarious. Okay. Um... Let's go look what uh, that one does. Oh no, maybe. Hold on. Four undiscovered him. There could be. Well, no, there could be way more powers because theoretically, because if each dot, each dot could be a power. So that's what six. Twenty-four, I think. I've counted. There could be twenty-four powers. Oh my god. Okay, well anyway. Grab dash. Manipulate gravity to propel yourself forward and briefly increase any damage you inflict. Oh. That sounds cool. I mean, I'm not gonna... You know, let's... let's Hold on. Let's, let's test it out. Let's see what it does. Okay, great. I, I do like grav, wait, gravity wave, though, simply because it helped me with the Terramorph. 
All right, come on, Andrea. If nothing else, Constellation does have excellent lodging. Enter the library. Sorry, wait, everyone. Got a little held up on Vectera. Garrett, you were worried sick. Captain well, Samuel, hello again. I, I see what you did here, Walter. You would return. I know you've been secretly crying into your piles of money just waiting for my return. Actually, Walter has been complaining about you more than usual, which is always a sign of his worries. Don't start, Contra. Wait, is that? <laughs> and to think the first artifact was taking up dust on the library shelf. Now, look at them all. You feel it a bit, can't you? Ever since I found the second one, I had the visions. Being around them is just comforting. So, hey, I I'm still not a hundred percent, plus, I feel guilty dragging you into all of this. Why don't I stick around and help you get adjusted to the weird corners of the universe? If you're coming with me, who's in charge of the frontier? It doesn't really matter to me. We never get too attached to ships. After the fifth or sixth time, one blows up and you get marooned. The romance fades. Plus, the frontier is a constellation ship. And you're one of us now. So it's just as much yours as mine at this point. I mean, I think it's better if we go our own ways, simply because I like Andrea a lot better. You don't want to get dragged down in the gravity of my genius. I get it. Let me know if you change your mind. All right. 9,000 credits. Okay. Uh, we do need to talk to Sam Co. So, uh... Yeah? Now that we have a moment... I wanted to ask how you're feeling. After your experience at the temple, you've given everyone at the lodge quite a scare. Why are you suddenly so concerned about how I'm feeling? Why am I concerned? Hmm. Let's think for a moment. Ah, yes. It isn't exactly an everyday occurrence to stumble across a mysterious temple and absorb some type of strange alien energy from within. I feel strangely powerful, like energy is coursing through my veins. That's distressing, but to be expected, I suppose. According to what I've heard, your body absorbed an almost unquantifiable amount of energy of a type we can't even begin to understand. We're dealing with something unknown to modern science. Who knows how this encounter has affected your body or your mind? Is the energy dangerous? Although I don't know the exact nature of the energy you absorbed, I'm fairly certain it means you no harm. I don't have any scientific data to back that up, so you'll just have to trust my intuition. Don't worry. You'll be fine. Take me to your leader, human. Hmm. I know you're simply trying to brush this off with humor, but you really should act more concerned. I'm not concerned. I'm a superhero, baby. We're dealing with entities of unknown origin. The problem is that we can't even begin to guess what their intention was towards us and where they've gone. You think it was built by aliens? It's a possibility I've considered, but I'm not 100% convinced. The only thing we can be certain of is that the technology we've encountered points to beings that live outside the settled systems. I don't think malevolent beings would have granted me this new ability. Hmm. Perhaps. It's just that... Oh, I'm afraid that we're flying almost completely blind here. All we know for certain at this point is that whoever created the artifacts are the same beings that built the temple. Anything else is just guesswork. I might as well put on a blindfold and toss darts at theories written on the wall. Constellation's never heard of these temples before? As far as Constellation's concerned, you're the first human we're aware of that's ever encountered one of these places. Now, whether you consider that lucky or not, that's another matter entirely. I would have thought this would have been exciting for you. Oh, believe me. 
This is positively exhilarating. Think about the significance of this research. The questions it raises alone are mind-boggling. Who was this wondrous structure built to accommodate? How long ago did these entities inhabit our universe? Are they still out there? Somewhere? Maybe these temples were intended for humankind all along. Perhaps. We'll need more data to be sure. It's funny. I used to think the artifacts were the end-all be-all of scientific discovery. The pinnacle mystery of our time. Never in my wildest dreams did I imagine it would lead to something of this magnitude. I just hope that you'll come through this. Whatever it is. Unharmed. And here I thought I was Constellation's new lab rat. Oh, of course you aren't. My number one priority is the safety and well-being of Constellation's personnel. Look, I've already taken up too much of your time. All I can do is promise that I'm not going to make you deal with this mystery alone. Whatever might be happening, I'll be right here to help you every step of the way. Alright, I think, the, you know what? Let's go on ahead and do the last, the empty nest. Let's at least talk to Sam Co. And see what mission this will lead us on. Hello, Cora. Oh, you must be the new member. What do you think of my new powers? Pretty neat, right? I'll say. You ever heard of the Mantis? The famous bounty hunter? Some people say the Mantis has superpowers. I don't think that's true, though. They're just really tough and have a cool ship. If you had a cool ship, you'd be like the Mantis, only better. I bet you'd make a pretty great superhero. I'd be a pretty great super villain too. I mean, I guess so. But that's really up to you, isn't it? All the superheroes could be villains, or all the villains could be heroes. Depends on what you do with your powers. Do you like traveling with your dad? It's the best. I met another kid my age who hadn't been on a starship once. Not even once! Same boring old planet for like years. She didn't even know how to replace a phase manifold. Can you imagine? I can't believe her. How dare she? What do you do on board? I read. I look around the ship, but no touching. Dad lets me do all sorts of stuff on his ship. But he said I have to be respectful on your ship. But I could try to fix things if you ask. Hinton, you can ask. I promise I'll be good. Uh, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to fly my own ship and go all over the place. Like you and Dad, really. But hopefully not as crazy as your travels. I thought Dad's were exciting. But yours? Brr. All right. Bye. Hello, Sam. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. Speaking of family, you two related? No. Funny story, I caught this one stealing my ship. Only reason I didn't turn her in is because we have the same last name. Dad. All right. That's my one. And you must be Sam Co, the Freestar Collective Expert. Whoa. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila Moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons, well, I'm going to fall asleep before you do. Trust me. Don't encourage him. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. Aren't you a little young to be a space explorer? There's no you have to be this tall sign for space. The package may be small, but she can handle herself. You'll see. Good to meet you, Cora. Nice to meet anyone brave enough to fly the frontier. Oh, you definitely take after your father. Hey, don't spook our new friend. Frontier's a fine ship. Honest. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? Only that it was in Freestar Collective Space. Sure enough. That's where we're heading. The three of us are heading to Aquila, for a settled planet of the Freestar Collective and, not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city's spaceports, 
But the frontier is our goal. It's a rough country. Spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. Anything I should know about Aquila? Yeah. Don't piss off the Free Star Rangers. As far as the Collective is concerned, they're judge, jury, and executioner. They're the good guys, but that don't make them any less dangerous. Outside that, just don't be an asshole. Uh, I'm still getting my bearings. Let's head out later. I guess it wouldn't hurt. We just got back from a supply run anyway. Let me know when you're ready. Yes. Because that's going to cause me to lose a companion because I don't have enough space on my ship. Okay. Skill point wise, where are we at? Okay, we need three more. No. We need seven, so eight more levels. Even get. So it's going to be a while because I want to level up. So we're probably going to be doing a lot of these other missions. No, not wrong button. We're going to be doing a lot of these missions. Trying to get up to level because I want to get more people on my thing. So, um. Oh, we can minimize all those. Um, I guess we'll start with activities and work our way up. We can't do that one. We can accept a cargo mission from the mission port, though. And that, that'll be probably a nice, simple mission, I would imagine. So let's go to the mission board and just do a very simple cargo mission just to get that off of our activity feed. And then uh, probably in the next number of episodes will be us doing a lot of these this missions and cleaning out my uh, mission list because we've got a lot of quests available. And then once we've reached a point to where we can get more people on our ship, then we'll do the Samco mission. Mainly because I can only have two. Andrea's got to be one because she's my companion. And listen, Adoring Fan has got to stay on. That's the rule. We're not getting rid of Wanted. We're going to recognize our parents. And we're going to have the Adoring Fan with us at all possible times. All right. Deliver, um, 150. Five days. Stroud, Eklund, Star Yard. Narian, okay. Oh no, that's like literally right here. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, accept. Okay, and then deliver scanners. All right. And then let's just travel here to this place and quickly go deliver our stuff. All right, and that was done. Great, automatically added. Uh, this looks like a big city, so we'll come back and deliver it at a later date because we're going to eventually come back to all these places. Okay, any other activities? Uh, we can't do that one. Retrieve his slate. Where is that at? Is that still far away to where we can't go? Oh, no, it's like literally right here. Okay. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that quest. Why not? Okay, apparently Hale's been terminated. Uh, we can get weapons offline or at least down. We don't need them all. And then we can go and dock and then get his slate. I think this place was overrun by spacers or Crimson Fleet people, so we need to be aware of that. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Starfield. If you haven't already, go down and hit the subscribe button and the bell notification to stay up to date on when new videos come to the channel. If you liked today's video, go down and hit the thumbs up button. I'd appreciate it. It helps the channel grow and get recognition with the algorithm. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.